Okay, it's Thursday morning. I'm just in Kamloops, British Columbia. So I'm just gonna do a quick one hour hike just through some of the hoodoos and then I'm heading up towards Alberta. I'm gonna head up to Wells Great Provincial Park today. So this is where we are right now. Currently, I am dying. It is so warm outside. This hike, it's super quick. It's like a one hour hike and it just goes up this little mountain so it should be really fast but it's so warm out i woke up this morning and it was pouring rain so i'm like you know what i should probably wear jeans put on the long sleeve i couldn't find my jeans so i wore shorts but yeah the weather just completely flipped in kamloops and it is so hot like i'm sweating everywhere my boobs are sweating my head is sweating and i started down near that barn and i just got up here and now i gotta keep hustling after this, I'm heading up towards Alberta. I'm going to Wells Gray Provincial Park. So it's on the border between British Columbia and Alberta. Right now I'm in Kamloops, BC. So I think it's about an hour to Wells Provincial Park. And then I'm gonna see a couple of waterfalls there, do a couple quick hikes in there. Hopefully I sweat a little less on those. And then I'm going up to Jasper and the Rocky Mountains in Canada. And that should be really nice. I'm really excited for those. But yeah, right now, I'm just getting sunburned and just owning it because I don't want to get my butt off the ground. Making my way back down the trail. My, my backpack broke, so I'm currently holding my camera, literally tripod out. Um, yeah, backpack's garbage now, which is awesome because that was my day pack that I was taking on all of my hikes. and. I'm only on like a day four of my trip, so. Time for a little chocolate break. I finally made it to Wells Creek Provincial Park and uh, I thought it'd be an hour, hour and a half drive, but it took me at least two and a half hours and it was midday, so I'm just really hot and it's starting to hit me how much I've been driving in the past few days. Um, yeah, so I'm just getting tired and I'm out of music on my phone, but that's okay. This waterfall is gonna be actually beautiful, so I'm really excited. Oh, it's gonna be really nice. So that'll be good. There's a lot of people on the trail right now though, so yeah, I'm gonna hang out in my car, take a breather, cause it's been a long day so far. After my little fail of a hike this morning, and I didn't even finish it. I, I went like halfway, went to the top, and then I was just way too hot. It was like 30 degrees, and I was just dying. And so I bailed on it, and I got in my car, and I started driving, but feels like it's been a long day, so. I got my Reese's that are all melted together. I can eat these and then it's waterfall time. Just about as unedible as Reese's peanut butter cups can get. <laughs> so tastes good. on the trail to Mole Falls and I need a coffee. Energy levels are just at such a low today and I don't know what it is, but I have my new camera bag. It's just my gym bag, but it will do hopefully. It has a cute little spot for my tripod actually because that's where my yoga mat's supposed to go. So 2.6 kilometers lugging this around and then it will all be worth it. This is the part I hate. I might lift weights, but my quads cannot handle stairs. That was incredible. I'm the worst at waterfalls. I stay there through like three groups of people. I'm there so long, but, oh, I'm out of breath. They're just so beautiful. There's nothing that gives me life like waterfalls. I love them. Okay, so now it's 6 p.m. Oh my God, again, I'm out of breath. Okay, so at 6 p.m. I'm supposed to do another three hour drive tonight to get to Jasper and I wanted to do two more quick hikes in Wells Great Provincial Park, just the two more waterfalls before that. So I don't know, I'm either going to end up camping in Wells Gray or 
make it a really late night and then hope I can find somewhere to sleep tonight in Jasper. I'm not really sure because I don't think I'd get to Jasper till midnight. And I want to do these waterfalls. Here one time, I'm doing them. So, yeah, a little roadblock. I'm already really tired, so I don't know if staying up late and driving is the best idea, but coffee does sound really good. Coffee always sounds really good. The things I would do to be able to go swimming right now. Oh my gosh. Definitely not here. It leads down to the waterfall, but I could use a nice lake day. That's what I'm up for. Home sweet home. When I got here, this parking lot was full. Now there's me and just three little cars. Pro tip, if you do this hike, wear bug spray. Wear bug spray because this is probably the biggest bite I've ever had in my life. And it's so itchy. It is about 8 p.m. now and I'm getting really tired so I was thinking about just camping in clear water here by Wells Great Provincial Park. But I called a campsite and it's $40 rates literally just for my tent and I'm cheap so I'm not going to do that. So I think I'm going to suck it up. I'm going to do one last waterfall, Helmkin Falls. It's a huge, huge waterfall and I think it's like a one minute walk from the trailhead. It's just that it's about a 45 minute drive to get there. So I'm going to do that and then there's a chance I'm just going to suffer through the night and drive to Jasper. I don't know where I'm going to sleep tonight. Like... I don't know. There's no Walmarts around me for me to go in a parking lot and all the parking lots I see say no camping overnight. So I don't know what to do, but uh, we're going to go to Helmkin Falls, get some photos there. I should get there just around sunset. I don't know where the sun sets, but hopefully I won't get stuck on a trail in the dark again because honestly that was scary when that happened. But yeah, fingers crossed I find somewhere to sleep tonight. Okay, so sunset was at 8.12, it's like 8.30, so I just made it before the light is out. It should be a quick, just like two minute walk to get to the actual waterfall. And then, I don't know where I'm going, and then I get to spend up my night driving and probably not sleeping anywhere because I'm not gonna be able to get a campsite. But it's fine because I'm gonna get to see this waterfall. I'm here, I made it. She's right behind me. Huge and gorgeous. Um, <laughs> I've been here for about 10 minutes and it's beautiful, but I've been getting eaten alive by bugs, so I'm ducking out. 10 minutes was enough for that guy for me because it's too late. Back in my car, I literally was there for probably 10 minutes. It was beautiful, like don't get me wrong, stunning, huge waterfall, but I, within 10 minutes, I was getting eaten alive by bugs. Like I'm so itchy, they just, yeah. There's a lot of bugs. I was stuck between, should I get a picture or should I just slap my legs because there's bugs biting them. So that's done. I'm still happy I went, but it was definitely a quick visit. Um, now driving up to Jasper, I think. So it should be about a three and a half hour drive from where I am. And then I don't know where I'm gonna sleep. Gonna figure that out, hopefully. There's no Walmart, I don't know. I really don't wanna go a night without any sleep. <laughs> So hopefully I find somewhere to go. I just don't want to pull over on the side of the road. That just seems too sketchy to me. And right now where I am, there's no service. So that's just a hard no for me. I don't need to be. Yeah, no, that's a no. So it is 8.45 and I have three and a half hours to go. And then I'm in Jasper and then I don't know what I'm doing in Jasper. Should be a good ride. It is now 5.30 in the morning. The next day I arrived at this, I don't know what it is, but this little town at about 11.30 last night. Got too tired to keep on going, so I have about an hour and a half to go until bam. So I am going to close off this video right now, but if you want to see me in the Rocky Mountains, I'll see you in the next video.